Hola! We are here in Spain and I want to show you guys after 100 days on the road this is the best way for us to wash up with minimal water <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, let me show you how we do it Hi, I'm Lavi and this is Oli Over the past four years we have been on some epic adventures around the world Now, after converting an old van into our new home on wheels, we are ready to hit the road and explore the wonders of Europe. Click the subscribe button to follow our journey and let the adventure begin. We're using a spray bottle which is filled up with a little bit of washing up liquid and water. And it's important there that you're using an organic washing up liquid so that you can then obviously put the water into the bush or somewhere out of the way and you're not harming the environment. <laughs> I have a washing up bowl which we bought quite cheaply just in a one pound shop. I will just show you at the beginning we're just spraying everything and use a sponge just to rub it down. When we have our water filled up to the top, we have about 45 liters. Water is always a big topic and to save water is very important. I'm nodding with the camera. Give everything a good scrub. A good scrubby. Also, if you have some really good tips how to wash up saving water, let us know. How many liters do you think you've used so far? How many mil you mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is really annoying to have to uh, keep filling up the water over and over again in every place you go. It's not always too easy to find places to fill up water, so every liter you can save is incredibly useful. So after rubbing down everything, I will just use this bladder here. There's about two liters in, so I try to not use everything, but let's see. Some camper van setups will have like a sink on the inside or a sink kind of hanging out the back, but ours is an extreme micro camper. So um, we just have to have our sink on the outside, but it works. Wow. That's it. Everything's rinsed. Everything is rinsed. And how much water have you got left in that bladder? Probably a... Wow, look at that. You probably used less than a litre. Yeah, I probably just used maybe 200 millilitres. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's crazy how much water you can actually save. So that's the total in the bowl right there. Wow. And so now everything needs to be dried and this is Oli's job. <laughs> <laughs> Give everything a nice once over with the cloth otherwise everything might get a bit moldy after a while you can do this while standing or or you can do this while sitting down van life is the good life you can't do this in your kitchen hey <laughs> we love you it also helps to just have one set of bowls, one set of cups, one set of cutlery, and that kind of forces you to just make sure you are actually washing up every time after you cook. Cool. Once everything's dry, we can put it back in our big Tupperware for all of our dishes. go and everything fits neatly under there then we have a little hook on the side of here where you can hang your dishcloth and then a nice little curtain 
Ta -da! <laughs> so this is how we wash up and let us know what you think. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. <laughs> we will see you next time. <laughs> If you enjoyed watching this video, you would help us a lot by subscribing to the channel by clicking here. Thanks so much for watching guys, we will see you next time. <laughs>